Oh my God. I can't believe this racist bigot. I hope she gets hit by a car, ruptures her spleen, and then gets dragged for five and a half miles before getting decapitated by a semi. Jeez, what'd they say? That all the fraud BLM committed is fraudulent? <laughs> I mean, that is blatantly racist against Caucasianly impaired people. Who said that? Candace Owens. <sighs> I think that is absolutely amazing that you, a white person, can get offended on behalf of black people by a statement made by a black woman. Pretty incredible, isn't it? Yeah, makes me feel like an underachiever. How so? Well, I just don't know how to get offended by other people's words when they have nothing to do with me. And you know what? What? I don't even really know how to get offended by people's words when they are talking about me. Really? Yeah, it's like I just don't take it personally. Why not? I seem to be cursed with a solid sense of self that has me rooted in the truth of who I really am. That sucks. Yeah, and therefore I don't feel insecure about other people's words and therefore I don't react with anger and contempt. Clearly I need help. Well, I can help. You can? Yeah, I can totally teach you how to get offended about anything. Oh my God, that'd be amazing. I've been feeling hopeless, like I'm doomed to a life of purpose and self-responsibility and respecting others. Wow, what do I need to do? There's five easy steps to get offended about anything. Step number one is victimize yourself. To do this, always look for how someone is hurting you. What if they're not trying to hurt me? Doesn't matter, you'll find what you're looking for. There is nothing more powerful than being a victim. But to be a good victim, you need step number two. What is it? Step number two is to make everything about you, especially when it has nothing to do with you. That's where a lot of people go wrong. Make everything about me? That sounds kind of narcissistic. That's because it is. But when you use narcissism to make yourself a victim, you won't see it. Everyone else will, but you won't see them seeing it. Plus, who cares about them? It's about you. Brilliant. Step number three. In everything someone else says, look for the hidden treasure about how it's either oppressive or uninclusive. Oppressive or not inclusive. Got it. Let's put all this into practice. Give me an open-hearted, caring statement that you would think is impossible for someone to get offended by. Um, I think we should do more to help the homeless. You ignorant, hateful, degenerate, ginger racist. That actually is kind of offensive. The homeless aren't homeless. You're just reducing the entirety of their being down to being homeless? That's oppressive to them and therefore you. They're not homeless. They're people who are temporarily experiencing homelessness. Wow, there I was trying to do good, but then you stopped me by getting offended. I see how everyone is helped by that, but mostly only you. Thanks, I've practiced a lot. Step number four, make huge assumptions about what someone means and then tell them what they meant with the words that they said. Act like I know the meaning of their words better than they do, but that doesn't really seem logical. Oh yeah, also don't be logical or else this whole thing just falls apart. Got it. An example of making huge assumptions. Matt Walsh says, we need to protect children from irreversible genital mutilation. Now, do you know what he means with this statement? Well, it seems pretty straightforward. He wants to protect children. Wrong! He means that he hates children and wants trans people to miserably suffer for eternity. He's also indicating that he would take great satisfaction in seeing the suicide rate in the trans community go up. Is that right? 100%. How can you be so certain that that's what he meant? Because I have a feeling of boiling rage inside my abdomen, and I'm completely unwilling to consider anything other than my own assumptions while I project my internal emotional state onto the world around me. Have you ever talked to a trans person? No. Have you? Yeah, quite a few. In fact, I had a conversation with one last Tuesday. Uh, excuse me? What? You talked to one on Tuesday? You mean a person who was temporarily experiencing Tuesday? Wow, when you put it that way, I realize I am basically a Nazi, aren't I? Probably worse. But step number five, 
Tyrannically command the person you're offended by can form their words and behaviors to meet your demands. Kind of like you're a terrorist. What about like their free will? <laughs> Not on your watch. And as you're psychologically violating them, let them feel your wrath with a ton of unchecked anger. What'll that do? It's just part of good communication that'll help them understand the beneficial point you're trying to make. If you greet them with enough emotional outrage, they'll most likely apologize and change their ways to meet your demands right away. I feel like these five steps will help me be a happier person who makes a more positive contribution to society. Yeah, that, 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 that's basically what'll happen. But let me give you your final exam. Your job is to get offended. Are you ready? I was born ready and without a gender. Here it is. It's a nice day outside. Um, oh, got it. How could you do this to me? There's some people on the other side of the globe where it's nighttime, not daytime. What about them? You just want them to die because you don't think they matter. Oh, and it's nice out for those who are temporarily experiencing outside. Now you're just denying climate change and totally disregarding the carbon emissions caused by the oil and gas companies that contribute to climate-induced racism. I hope you get mauled by a grizzly bear in front of your children that you didn't abort because women's rights don't even matter to you. Well done. Yeah, it felt great. You're really a good friend for helping me out like this. You wanna be my friend? Sure, why not? Well, I, I don't have any friends and I, I, I've always wanted one. <laughs> why don't you have any friends? I don't know, never really thought about it. Well, yeah, man, I'll be your friend. Man, that's what you say to me? You hateful cesspool of cis trash? That's not my correct pronoun. Sorry, what are your pronouns? I'm a them there. Oh, cool, that's plural. How many of them are you? About five. Well, all right then. I just hope the rest of the world can learn to get as offended as well as you have because we need more division in order to unify us. I think it's great that we don't see that's what we're doing.